right, so let's take a look at Pixel Mesh 2021.1, uh, where we've added a lot of cool new particle effects. So we've made this fire here as uh, an example of some of the new types. Uh, we'll just start at the top and work our way down. The smoke here is a stream type of particle, and what that does is it takes this um, single smoke graphic here, you can see it here too, um, and it streams it out from that location at the rate you set it. So we've got it set here to stream two particles per second. Um, and then we're doing some things to make each one a little different. So we've got a speed that it's moving. It's moving in this direction. Uh, you know, we could change it over here, but it's headed up. Uh, and the range is making some of them move up uh, faster or slower. So this is going anywhere from 5 to 15 when one of these gets set up with a range of 5 from this 10 starting point. Uh, and the direction range is the angle around the direction, so anywhere within 30 degrees of each side of up is where these uh, smokes are heading out. And we've also got wobble. Wobble and flicker are two of the new uh, types, uh, two of the new settings, sorry, that we've added. So this wobble width is 5 pixels, so these smokes uh, graphics are actually moving back and forth five pixels at a speed of one and then some randomness so they don't all wobble at the same time so you can see the wobble is actually having a significant effect on the uh, getting the final effect here so let's look at the fire the fire is similar it's uh, also a stream type it's sending out um, this little guy here just a bunch of these that they have a lifetime of four seconds, and so they're actually constantly being replenished by new ones over time. And again, each of them are are varied, and they've got, I think, a bit of uh, well, they've got no wobble, but they've got the direction and the speed, and um, it's kind of fun to play with the random seed because you get a slightly different one each time. Here, looks like three was the best one. So that's the fire. Oh, we've got the um, the embers, and these are pretty cool because we've done something special here. So these are using uh, an older type, the field type, which is what all the particles used to be in Pixel Mesh. And what field does is just puts them all over the screen, evenly distributed. So there's ten particles on the screen, or whatever value you enter here. Um, but what we've done actually here is to draw a mask. And so we've drawn this green area and these particles, these ember particles are only showing up within the green area because um, they're set to mask to parent here, the black and the red. And then we use a color key to make that green disappear. So the green is uh, visible so or is enabled, but we don't see it because of the color key. So that's a great tip for making sure your particles only show up in a certain area. Let's load up our other example here. Project, don't save our masterpiece. So we made this little firework here, um, which demonstrates the burst particle type. So that's down here. These red and two blue are the main show here. And one of the cool things we've done here, though, is we've got this body, which is this little um, this little brown two-pixel thing that's being sent up. And what we've done is we've timed it. So the, bar the, the particle for the body uh, gets sent up with a speed of 32, which is exactly going to be exactly 32 pixels up. Uh, and then its lifetime ends. And as soon as it ends, we've got these particles, which start instead of at zero, they start at one, so they're perfectly timed to start bursting right when uh, the body reaches that point. Um, with the burst, when you set the particles per second, that just sends all of them out at once, so this is sending 50 reds and I think even more blues, although we're not seeing all of those uh, because of some other settings down below. Um, let's look at this blue one, actually it's more interesting. Uh, so, and the other thing we've done here is we've set the direction range to 360, or in the case of the red, I think it's 270. Yep, so you can see that it's um, sending out at 
not quite a full 360 degrees for the red. Um, and then what we've we've also added some wobble here, which gives these blue ones this kind of fun like uh, dancing back and forth, like some fireworks do as they're as they're going out. But you can also see them flickering out over time, and that for that we've used the flicker. And it's set with an on time of three seconds and then a large off time, which is, you know, way longer than the animation. So if I set this all the way down, you'll see that they all just, um, oh, actually you won't see it, but, but with the randomness up, what you get is a nice effect where different particles slowly fade off and turn off over time. So that's basically it. There's a lot of things that you can do with these, and we're excited to see what other people do. But this is just a quick overview of what's new. Thanks for watching.